Hi everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Today I want to talk with you about resin 3D printing basics and today specifically we're going to be talking about support removal and how I go about removing supports from my resin 3D prints. Now before we get started, I do want to preface that this is my method for removing supports. You might remove supports differently than I do, and you might already be familiar with this method, but there's a lot of folks out there that have not gotten to resin 3D printing and are interested in more information on how supports are removed. If you have a different method than what I'm discussing here today, let me know down in the comments because I would love to check that out. So before we can run off and remove any supports, we need a file to print. So today I printed Loot Studio's Living Armor file. What I love about these guys is all of their files come pre-supported, so it makes my job really easy when it comes to selecting a file and printing it. And I printed it on the Elgu Mars 2 Pro with Elgu's ABS-like gray resin. This is Loot Studio's larger version of the file, and it was a four and a half hour print on the Mars 2 Pro. So as you can see from the print, it has lots, and I mean lots of supports, and it's a pretty small file, so we're gonna have to be very careful when it comes to removing those supports. Before I go off and remove any of the supports, I typically will go and clean the print off. So today I'm using Elgu's Wash and Cure Station that allows me to easily clean off my prints using isopropyl alcohol or any other cleaning product that you'd like inside of the cleaning unit. I will typically let my prints rinse for about three minutes before removing them and letting them air dry. And now that we've got the prints cleaned, I'm gonna be looking at two different processes that I regularly get asked, which is, do I remove the supports before curing or do I cure then remove supports? Spoilers, I always remove the supports before I cure and I'll explain why here in just a moment. So we're gonna take our cleaned off print. And again, this is the method that I don't recommend. I just wanna show this off. Uh, but we are gonna cure this first before removing the supports. I'm gonna let this run for about three minutes to fully cure the print. And again, this is gonna vary depending on the size of the print that you're working with and how long you need to cure those. If you're using a wash and cure station like the Elgu wash and cure station that I'm using here, or if you're just using a UV light or just setting the print out directly in the sun. All right, so let's remove this out of here. Everything is cured. I'm nervous I'm gonna rip this. I'm gonna damage this. What's great about Loot Studios is, I'll give them this, I'm removing these supports and even with the cured print, it's it's coming off pretty nicely on some of these really small pieces. Man, I'm, I'm shocked here. Oof. Yeah, this isn't going as smoothly as I'd like. So you can start trying to peel away some of the supports and it's just gonna be really hard for you to do without damaging your print. Uh, this means you're gonna need to go back through and start trying to individually remove supports with the little snipper that came with your resin printer. Most printers come with this. Uh, but here I can come in and start trying to chip away at the supports. This is just a much longer support removal process. I find it to be extremely messy as well. Uh, what's great about Loot Studios here, man, I will give it to them on this. They have such small support structures that even with a cured print, this isn't really that bad. Typically what I see when working with some of the larger resin prints, or maybe if it's just using my custom supports that are typically heavier in nature than this is uh, I'll get lots of big divots in my prints or uh, the supports just start splintering off left and right. So here it's just, it's I'm gonna be trying to very carefully remove all of these supports individually here um, while going over this print. Oh my goodness, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna rip this guy in half by trying to pull the supports off. And again, there's some of you out there that this might be a method that works well for you. And if it does, bravo. I prefer the method that we're gonna be looking at here in a minute, which allows me to just more easily pull the supports directly off prior to us curing the print. I did not mean to do that. I just broke the, the leg off this guy here. So what I like to do is get a warm bucket of water. It doesn't have to be boiling hot. It doesn't have to be super hot just needs to be warm water. This will really help separate the print supports from your actual print. 
So here I'll take my file that we've run off and printed and I'm gonna dunk it in our warm water and let that sit for about 30 seconds to a minute. You don't need to let it sit there for too long because what I don't want it to do is warp any of the pieces. That's why I don't want it to be boiling hot either. I should also mention this process will completely differ depending on what I'm printing. If it's something that has really small details like weapons, I'm gonna be extremely, extremely careful when I'm doing this process because again, I don't wanna warp any of the details on something like a miniature. However, if I'm printing something much larger, like I'm trying to print a replica prop, maybe on the Elgu Saturn, that I'm not really concerned about it warping too much. I might have it in much hotter water because the supports are gonna be a lot thicker than something I'm gonna be printing with a miniature. All right, so I've got my print here and it's been submerged in water for about 30 seconds. You'll see here, it's very, it's really, really flexible. And if I just start to carefully, I can start pulling away the supports from the print. And it makes this process of support removal so easy. And it's a lot cleaner than what we've seen with the already pre-cured file that we tried to remove the supports from. So I can just very carefully start peeling away all of the supports against this particular print. I've removed all the supports and it was really simple. Now what I can do is just go back through and start to really refine the cleanup and remove any additional loose uh, little points there that came from the supports. Regardless of which option you go with, it always helps to have tweezers on hand as well for any of the hard to reach areas when it comes to removing some of the supports. I just find it to be so much easier with the supports being nice and soft to go in and remove these versus it being pre-cured and trying to remove it and it's just support splintering off and causing a massive mess everywhere or further causing divots in your, your prints. And now that we've got all the supports removed, it's time to cure the print. And again, I'll just run this for about three minutes in the cure station here. Again, if you don't have a cure station, that's fine. You'll just need to sit this out in the sun to let it cure, or you can use UV lights that you might have in a bucket or that you just have sitting around and cure your print. Here were two different methods for removing supports from your prints. Again, I prefer the method of dipping it in some warm water to help loosen the supports prior to curing your prints. I just find that to be a much overall easier process when it comes to removing the supports. The other option out there is obviously the one that I initially showed, which is curing your print first and then painstakingly trying to remove each of the supports and then going back through and cleaning it up further. Uh, the benefit of this one here of curing prior to the, uh, the method that I showed, there's no option for the print to actually warp uh, versus what I did here which you know if you have too warm of water and the print's sitting there too long if you have really thin parts it could again warp on you uh, both options will work just one seems to be a lot more painful for me in the cleanup process than the other so it's entirely up to you and again if you have other alternatives let me know down in the comments because I would for sure like to try that out a big thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in the Mars 2 Pro or the Wash and Cure Station, I'll have links down below where you can find those for yourself. And I couldn't also do this without the support of my amazing Patreon supporters. If you're interested in finding out more about my Patreon, you can find links down below. Also, if you're interested in these files from Loot Studios, I'll have links down below to their site as well. Hey, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.